what I'm going to be talking about today is this particular machine, which is called a press saw. So this is a machine that will cut thin wood and thin plastic for you. It is not the machine that you would use with metal. Uh, what it is, it's a very thin blade. You can hear the, the tension there. And this blade is moved up and down very, very quickly, and it allows you to cut your material. If you go into the tool cupboard, we have a hand tool version that does the same as this. Uh, and this is called a coating saw. So if you can imagine, if I put the blade that way and moved it up and down very, very quickly, that's exactly what the press saw does. Now, like any of the machines that you use when you're in the workshop, there are certain safety rules that you need to follow. One of the most important is protecting your eye. So we have goggles. We have uh, the spectacle goggles that you uh, might use as a science, but we also have elasticated ones that go around the back of the head. It's not a fashion show. Whatever fits you comfortably to protect your eye. Never, ever think about using any of the machines without wearing your eye protection. Okay? Uh, another thing would be if you are, if you've got long hair or if you've got anything that's sort of hanging down, make sure everything is tight back and well out of the way. You should be wearing an apron as well, and that will protect you from dust. And when you are working on this machine, you concentrate 100% on what you're doing. You do not turn around and have a chat with someone else. You do not allow yourself to get distracted. You make sure that whatever you are doing, you are completely concentrating on it entirely, okay? So the sorts of things that we can cut using this machine would be, uh, could be a sheet of acrylic. So there are, we use acrylic in a number of projects, the insidious of the key ring, uh, the uh, Memphis pot, number of projects. This acrylic comes with protective plastic on it. So, the temptation is to pull it all off. Don't. Leave it on there because it protects the plastic whilst you're working with it and it will stop it from getting, getting scratched. Once you've cut it out and you've polished up the edges, then you can peel off the protective plastic. If you look at this sheet, it looks like someone's cut a triangle from there. Okay. So what the way that you would cut this is it would be flat on the table, your fingers well away from the blade, holding the work down and then pushing slowly forward. Another kind of material would be thin wood. So this is a piece of plywood and you can see someone has cut a curve on here. It is possible to cut curves with this pretzel. Uh, what happens is that you move very slowly your work and follow a line that you've drawn. I think the, the trick of this machine is to take your time. If you push things through too quickly, then there is a chance that you could break this blade. This blade's very thin, and it, it can break if, if forced. It's, it's not, not particularly dangerous, but if you are too rushed with your work, it could snap. They cost about 10 pence. If it does snap whilst you're working, come and tell me. First thing that I will say to you is thank you very much for letting me know. Uh, it's when people break these, and then they walk away and they don't bother telling anyone. That's when it does get annoying. So if you do have an accident and anything breaks, come and tell me. I'll say thank you and I'll just replace it so you can carry on. Okay. Uh, so thin sheet wood like that and thin small sections of wood. We can cut these on the press saw as well. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to, to, to do some cutting. When you turn it on, it is quite noisy. Don't be frightened of it. Don't be scared of it. I'm going to turn it on now. There's an on-off rocker switch down at the bottom here. So. Okay, so you turn it on and the whole arm moves up and down and that is what gives you the chance to use the blade. So I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to very slowly push this through. Okay. All right. 
right? So slowly, and even when you think you're almost getting to the end, the temptation is to rush a little bit, isn't it? No, you should be doing the opposite. You should be slowing down, all right? Because, because this is tension. If you push it through too quickly, when it does get through, there's that little jolt. So just go very, very slowly, and don't forget to turn it off. I know that sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised at how many people walk away from the machine and leave it on, particularly if there are other machines operating and it's quite noisy in the workshop and you can't hear whether you've turned it on or off. So that's the prep tour. Um, I will give you a demonstration for the whole group before you use it. And if you would like me to give you a demonstration on your own before you use it, then absolutely fine. Or if you would like me to just stand to one side and be there when you use it for the first time, Absolutely. I have year eights who are coming back after the summer holidays thinking, I'm not quite sure. I think I, I know how to use this. So, sir, could you watch the first time that I use it? Which is absolutely fine. So, don't ever be afraid of it. And don't ever worry about coming up and saying, sir, can you just give me a reminder or could you stand there whilst I'm using this? Okay. So, prep saw, thin sheets of plastic, thin sheet wood, small pieces of wood. Slowly take your time, fingers away from the blade, but holding your work down on the table and pushing it through slowly. Make sure you've got your eye protection, anything loose behind your back, make sure you've got your apron on. Okay? 